Our initial results talks about uh, efficacy of 67% uh, for symptomatic uh, cases. And uh, as we move forward, we will know further in terms of what kind of uh, efficacy we can see in the longer term. What about um, the effectiveness of this vaccine that is uh, Zycov D? You're calling it Zycov D. Uh, the, how effective can this vaccine be against new variants? I mean, now you're talking about uh, the WHO examining the Mu variant as well. So currently, uh, our efficacy trial was completed uh, where we got our events data in the months of April, May, June of this year. And as you know, 99% of all zero surveillance that was done in the country had uh, positively only the Delta variant, which was the most dominant strain. In fact, in all of our event data of positivity, uh, when we did the sequencing of them, all of, the, all of them were the Delta variant. So one uh, aspect of this is, this is definitely a study that has been done against mostly the Delta variant when it was prevalent. So the efficacy is in a way a reflection of that. With regards to the other variants, we still have, uh, I mean, we don't have any data yet to show anything on that. But I was reading on how the plug and play technology on which this vaccine is built can help it change the equation pretty quickly to be effective against new variants. And so uh, it'll be easier for you to come out with a revised version if the risk of a new variant uh, hits the scenes. So that's correct. You know, this being a recombinant uh, vaccine, uh, we have already done, made the constructs for the new variants, which are the variants of concern like the Delta, the Delta Plus, and many of the other variants. And uh, we have already initiated the animal studies. We have completed some of the animal studies also. So for us, as I said, this technology does offer that aspect that you can quickly uh, change uh, to the new construct and, and, and redeploy it. It doesn't require any changes in manufacturing. So that, that is the advantage with this platform. And we also believe that going forward, the next version will be the more updated versions related to maybe the Delta variant or whichever becomes the various, uh, the variant of concern for which we need to be ready for.